Zach! <laughs> Hello. We have our first ever guest. Holy wow. Hey, buddy. It's <laughs> Zach! Hey, it's incredible to be here. I'm a huge fan and just sitting at this table. Yeah, don't even lie. <laughs> I don't believe a word about all, all We lies. kidnapped him, actually. Don't say we. You. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, you were, you were driving. For the record, I didn't know about it until it showed up here. Murder. We murder. 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 I didn't want to believe it, but eight people is a lot of people, and so yeah. I refuse to believe it. <laughs> Take a story. That's, that's Sometimes a denial is good, but yeah. So I'm not that kind of god. I'm just a cool god. Are you like a polytheistic god or like big G god? I, G hyphen D. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would go with big G. Big G. There's only there one. Are. You're like the supreme. Well, yeah. If anyone wants to challenge me, I'll throw him down. Leo will. <laughs> Leo definitely. Oh. Leo, 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 oh. Leo, Leo would challenge you. <laughs> You're talking about Leonardo DiCaprio. No. No, oh, you wish. No. <laughs> <laughs> if only it was that easy. <laughs> uh, if only it was him. So who? Our what? Leo. Leo. Oh, let's not. Let's, we, we can't say his last name. Well, so we can say his last name. We'll just censor it. You say. Do I know who he is? If wait, is we, saying we, his last name going to mean anything to me? You or might know I, you might have no idea. I don't know if I know anyone. Either. Say, Andrew, say it in your deepest, like scariest voice ever. Or should, or should do it the Rorschach voice? Or should I do it in my impre- best impression of him? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, just do it whatever you like. The butt mix. I, I think my first name. I like the Rorschach. I think my second name is terrible. It surprises. Or do the do the do the. I'll do the Rorschach one. Leo. Well, that name means nothing. <laughs> you, you are very lucky. He's, very lucky. He's one of the lucky ones. Did he, he go to our school? Yeah. Yes. He has not touched you. <laughs> what grade is he in? Ours. Your grade? Ours. Yeah. I don't think I know. He's an interesting fellow. No. Nah. So so that's a nice way to say it. He's something. Well, so why is he a challenger to me? Oh. oh that's a he's, very he's long story. That's a longer story than we're willing to tell right <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah. Okay. okay. Takes I feel not... like David might challenge him also. No. No. David, no, David, no, David, David will lose. No, David, David, David was all the way on the bottom of the ladder. <laughs> no, 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 but I feel David's like... David's like a sub-god. He's like... <laughs> a demigod? No, 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 no. Worse than that. He's just a peon. <laughs> like a demigod. Who... He's like an adipose vessel. Okay. I don't really know what that means, but... He's like a fat cell that just fell off. <laughs> he just butted off, and he was a mistake. <laughs> 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 Alright, so good to know them. Rip Buster. G dash D. Okay. So Is Zach, what, tell us tell us about you. Okay. Well, most of you know who are listening probably know me as the president and founder of the film club. No. My highest achievement. <laughs> um, probably the best thing I've ever done to this date because it's uh, never ending and immortal, which is really cool. Because kind of like you. what? Kind of like you as God. Kind of like me because I I'm immortal as well. But like, how many things can you say that you started that will go on so significantly after you leave? It's like challenging. <laughs> what? What's the joke? <laughs> I was going to say I left radiation in my backyard <laughs> for generations. Yeah, that will never go away. <laughs> yeah, I think it's not going to positive impact. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. I'm trying to make well, a, a lot benefit to the world. <laughs> if you can look at film club as a benefit to the world, which I think it is. Do you think it is? Yeah. Making a lot of good, got a lot of aspiring filmmakers coming up there and really strutting their stuff. And we won awards before, so that's that's Ooh, good. Award winners. If I do say that, if I do say so myself, I think that film club is the ideal club because it has, it like can appeal to so many different kinds of people like everyone can find their place in the club whether you like acting whether you like being behind the camera whether you like working with computers or movies in general i feel like a lot of people can find their place in the club and that's why i think it's such a good thing for the school i feel like the school should give it a lot more recognition than it does but funding not necessarily even funding but like um just like 
respect, I think, goes a long way. And that's Just, the club. Well, I mean, you guys got recognized at that, like, board meeting. And you... Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't really know what... I don't, I don't remember why that happened or what was precedent, precedent with it. Um, but still, the school, like, as far as I know, I know things might be changing soon. Um, but, like, the school show, can show a lot of support behind certain clubs and other clubs the school doesn't show the same kind of support for and I never felt like the film club had the kind of support from the administration that I saw some other clubs getting. Well I mean you did start it so it was relatively new while you were there right? Yeah so and it I think it's but I think it's well I think it's also a numbers game and um, a town recognition game like a uh, club that I'm thinking of that the school like loves is like Key Club. I don't know how much good Key Club is really doing. I have a lot of issues with Key Club. But, what? They are not. They don't really do much. Right, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying they don't do much. They don't have that much of an impact, but they have numbers. They have, like, hundreds of kids who are a part of it because people think it looks good on their resume. Um, yeah, that's the only reason I... Exactly. And the film club has a lot more other benefits that I feel like if the school did put themselves behind it, it could be even better than it is. Any comments from the side of the table? I know nothing about film club. <laughs> Me either. Nothing <laughs> at all. We don't know much. <laughs> it's not knowing though, but it's like, what do you think your opinion? Do you think that like um, the school has a responsibility behind certain clubs? I don't know if I'm like I making mean, this conversation a lot different than what like we usually see I on mean, the podcast. No, we, we have a very <laughs> yeah, large you are, variety. but it, it, it is. Okay. But it, it, it is. It is. It is. It is acceptable. Yeah. Yes. That's you'll see. You'll see as it goes on. If it wasn't I'm, acceptable, certainly someone would have said something by now. Well, it's like, I don't want it to be like the Zach show where I'm just like talking about myself for the... You are our guest. I mean, so. he literally asked for you to talk about it's yourself. It's true. Yeah, well, yeah. Martin, Martin is the longest serving member of the film club. He yeah. was in it for four years. Four years. I was there. Uh, the rest of our grade was... They were only in it for three years by the time we were seniors. Because you were the only freshman. Yeah, I was the only freshman who actually showed interest when he tried to get it off the ground well, the first time. Got a real better in a It wasn't even that. It was like... Five-star general. It was like <laughs> I started it at the end of my sophomore year, and Martin sat in front of me in Italian class, and I was like, Martin, you have to come to this club meeting because I don't know if anyone else is going to come. <laughs> and then... And I did, and it came. was an awesome thing. At first, maybe not. <laughs> well, not at first, but like... Eventually, it, it, grew it became, in, like, really, really awesome. Yes. my By the time I was a senior, it, it changed 100%. Mm -hmm. Do you want to talk about that? Sure. Do you want to talk about that? I don't, I don't know. Martin? Um, Tar Tar um, Tar 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 yeah, so, <laughs> we had this, uh, well, her name, is her name in the public domain? <laughs> Just you don't have to say it. <clears throat> So we had this beach ball lady. <laughs> <laughs> she was shaped like a beach ball. <laughs> was it the boulder? <laughs> no? No, she was a beach ball. Oh, okay. The video the, say... the video lady. Oh. She, she's shaped like a beach ball. Look okay. at her. This but, is um, a fact. Because she was like, a very long time ago, she had like this thing with like the, uh, with like the in-school... Uh, like the television station, like you know how the uh, the middle school had L and N. Oh, oh yeah, like, that, that they had the something like that for the high school also. And well, like, now they have that, right? It's like making it's no, coming back. back. They got cut. It got cut. Oh, really? It got cut. That yeah. was good. I like that. I thought I Jack was in charge that. of that. Did you yeah. watch it though? I actually did because they would have updates about like it... swimming. Wait, wasn't running. it show during homework? <laughs> uh, sometimes. My homie got super into it every I day. Like once a week. I'm not gonna say the name, but yeah, every day, like but the thing know, is, like the oh, schedules are almost oh. always really rushed. Get super into and it was it. only like, like oh my God, five it's people Wednesday. working on it, and yeah. they always had to come in after school. But we used to have something like that, and then they made a joke about a retarded kid or something. Oh really? Yeah. I didn't. Then, I didn't know that. Isn't that what you said? Like they made a joke about a retarded kid, and I, then like they had to like like no, they like fan hammered it. Oh maybe no, there wasn't that, but I think that was something in. And there was a film club. It was like a video. Yeah. It was called Video Club, and I think you're right. They did do something with yeah. with a retarded. Well, anyway, Mrs. Mrs. Beachball like got the axe then. She was like, like she was like, her her neck was like on the line. So she was like, she like shut down basically. Like she 
she like really tightened up the rules and so like for Zach when he wanted to start the film club it was like oh well now we have to work around her and now she's been scared stiff so it's like we can't we have like no creative freedom like we can't have any sort of conflict like we can't have okay. a person alone like, in a room without knowing they're safe kind of thing but well, that there was, that makes sense though it makes sense that like <laughs> No, it makes sense. No, not that part, but it makes sense that, like, because I, I remember you complaining a lot about her during film club, mm-hmm. and, like, it makes sense. Like, she had a tragic backstory, though. She wasn't just, well, like, a terrible it's person. It's not tragic. Okay, so, yeah. there's there's not a tragic backstory. Tragic backstory. Tragic backstory. Yeah, there you no, go. but think about it. Like, her entire job is at risk. No, no, no. Like, So there was a lot of uh, um, other issues that were, that, like, it was, like, it was like dominoes. It was like since there's this issue, there's this issue, this is this issue, this issue, which stops everything. So like the way that the club was set up was that we met during day twos at lunch. She wouldn't have any leeway with that one. So people have lab on day twos have to come in halfway through. Uh, people want to eat their lunch, and also like everyone's running around. There's no time to do anything. So she was like, you can't stay after school. You can't do this. You can't do that. So that was also like super limiting with the way the communication of the club went. And also the way that the four-day schedule goes. You might have two day twos in a week, and you might have one. And that, was an, that was another thing. That was nutty. So that was like, that made, that made making films super hard because it was either, well, we did two films the first year that was like on our own, and then we brought, brought it back, and they were like fine. But like the second year, when we were coming back, and people like had ideas and had films that they wanted to do and were like being really creative. Um, being under her reign was limiting for a under lot of people. Her iron fist. Right. Like dictators. Do you want to talk about the movie that we filmed at Esme's house? Because that's that was the, the, the horror film. I miss Esme. The horror yeah. film. Yes. Okay. So. Okay. So this was the second year of the film club when we were all sophomores and Zach was a junior, we were, we were going to do a, my cousin Esme had written a script for a horror film. And so like, she had like this big enough house that we could like, sort of like make it work with a bunch of different like things, right? So it was, it was supposed to be like a murder mystery sort of horror film. And like, obviously like, you can't have like on screen death in a thing that's got the school's <laughs> name on it, right? Cause that's a little, it's a little bit of a collar pull right there. <laughs> anyway, but like, this it, is a- it, it became so insane, her restrictions on it, because like, we we're like, all right, we won't have any on screen death. We'll just have like implied death. And like, it'll be so campy. Like, you, you can't even miss, you, you, is, there's like no way to even like understand, like, you can understand what's supposed to happen, but like, it's very obviously not that thing. So like, the most insane thing was we had one of the characters was supposed to get like locked in a in a bedroom or an attic or something. Was it an attic? I don't I don't know where you're going with this. I but, didn't I wasn't oh. I remember I was at Playlist Live the day you guys were filming. <sighs> but like one of the one of the characters was supposed to be like locked in an attic and Beach Ball Lady was like <laughs> she was like she was like you can't have them alone in the attic and not like have them like be safe like why don't you have them like look through a photo album or something and we just we just lost it right there we just threw up our hands we were like no <laughs> that's stupid <laughs> from my perspective okay also a trope amongst young filmmakers is you always go for the horror film because horror films are easy to make fun to make super you, you low. can make them goofy you like, can make them as goofy as you want and you can like and it's I, like easy because you don't actually have also, to like show the monster all the time. That's a good point. So, and then another <laughs> thing um, that I thought this is what I experienced was that when we came in with the footage the next day, she said no. It was like a really hard no. And I, I an issue structurally that the club had was the Esme and me dynamic, because I started the club and I was the president of the club. I was a junior and Esme was a senior. And Esme is great. And she has a really big personality and a good leadership personality. So she was, like, taking head of this movie. And I was, like, on the side doing other stuff. And, like, kind of trying to, like, oversee everything. And so when she got the no from the beach ball lady... Um, <laughs> it's funny, like, a picture of her. She, looks like- <laughs> she, Esme said, 
okay, then I'm not doing, like, then we're not doing this. And then the whole dynamic of the club lost its drive, and nobody was making any movies. Yeah, because you were kind of on the sidelines during that entire right, because, season. Right. You were, like, doing, like, I guess, like, administrative stuff, and she was, like, boots on the ground kind of thing. Right. Which was bad on me. It was dumb on my part. I mean, I should have stepped up better, but I was a junior and she was a senior, and that's just, like, the way that the dynamic felt within the room. And she didn't like it. She hated the beach ball lady. <laughs> so she, she was still like, does. Yeah. We, I learned to hate her after the events of this year. Um, but so since she hated her and she got the no, she was like, we're not doing, like, I'm not doing it, doing any movies anymore. I'll come hang out, but I'm not doing anything. And so since everyone else was like looking up to her in that sense, everyone else shut down as well. And then the film club was dead for a little bit. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, we don't have to talk all about Film Club. Yeah, about but then stuff. the next year it picked up again because we switched from her to a different advisor. And, like, he just, like, wasn't there at all. He was like, you want to do this? Fine. I'm not here. <laughs> but also, like, I took a huge step in planning planning what the Film Club was going to be. Because I was, like, kind of, yeah, like... Yeah, you basically dropped everything else so that you can focus uh, on Uh Yeah, Club. including that big physics project we had to work on for seven months. I didn't. Yes. I actually <laughs> still. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You didn't have to. Okay, I was way more present then. Other people in the uh, room. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I did work hard on those you projects. You actually did work hard on the physics project. No, but I remember by the end of the year, you and Jeff both. It was like. It was senioritis. Yeah, that too. was senioritis, I guess. Yeah, like after, like I know they just had senior breakfast today. After senior breakfast, I you're really, checked out. Oh my god. Yeah. They had it already. Yeah, it was today. Yeah, they had Why? it today. It's May. I mean, prom is, next week. prom is next yeah, week. Prom is next week, yeah. Prom is next Thursday. Still, it's but the reason why all the concerts were super oh, early this year is because they wanted to... Yeah. They were like... Beat right, the senioritis rush? Yeah, they were like, we gotta make sure... Are they graduating sure early? Or is no, no, it's 21st. No. They're it's just the having a whole, like, basically an entire month of just, like, chilling. I mean, that's, that's what we had. That's how it always works. Yeah. Yeah. No, but, like, the concerts, usually, like, the music concerts are, like... Yeah. At least a week or two later. <laughs> so long. Then breakfast? I don't yeah, remember. I was usually never, like I was the first or second week of June. Mm-hmm. Like, it would either be like the first week of June or like at the latest it would be like on the 9th. Cool. I love calendars. Do you yeah. use Google Calendar or what other calendars do you guys, apps I, do you guys use? I just remember, or sometimes not. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Are you Same. Phone calendar? Yeah, Google Calendar or just, just trying to remember. Yeah, if I have to remember, I'll just put an alarm on my phone. I don't have a life, uh, so there are no events. Cozy. Uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, so I, 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 don't know, I don't know how much relating then this is going to have, but I use, my, I use Apple Calendar because it's on my laptop and my phone, and my calendar is like every day of the week, it's just like completely filled. So like you have your shit together. Up with stuff. Well then everyone's like, That's you gotta oh, use I said it. a bad word. Everyone's like, you got it. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh. Another, another, I'm sorry another. guys. Why is Why Cassie you? the one? Yeah. Why are you the yeah. Yeah. fan? You are. He's been behaving himself. Okay, you I just came off of finals. Money. You are hemorrhaging so money. So you. all of us. And stress. Yeah, but like. Zach's an adult. No, but you guys have been home for a while. Every single day. I have no I have to commute to New York City every day. Amazing. And. I like what I do, but it's a long commute. So I, I listen to a lot of hours of podcasts on that commute. So I can I can listen to this on Tuesday. This you won't, won't be out for yeah. another eight weeks. Yeah. I'll listen to your old episodes on Tuesday. Then. You don't you want to or you could that. not. Yeah, you, you don't want to do that. You will regret that quickly. <laughs> I can He's going to turn it on and be like, nah, never mind. Yeah. Just, uh, it's a lot of shouting and incoherency. Yeah. yeah. Just prepare. I'm to afraid this episode is just going to be like a Zach monologue. That's okay. Yeah, I love hearing myself talk. Listen to you talk. Yeah, all twenty minutes. <laughs> I can go through my whole philosophy of life on this show. Oh, philosophy. Yes. We we had we we we've tried. We that. have exhausted. Philosophy the gets beaten I, I'm to all, death. I'm always down to talk about philosophy, but I just, but we did you, come. You can, you can that like. They try and talk about philosophy, and I just, I just make fun of them. The yeah. world is just like grew to philosophy. Me and Brent are both just like, yeah, yeah, you guys suck. Philosophy is the gay suck. agenda. <laughs> I have got an is the argument gay with an Uber driver about free will and like philosophy like that. Have an Uber driver that spoke English? That's impressive. Yes. Well, you're no. a racist today. I'm not. <laughs> and it was a girl. No, I'm with her. I'm with her. It no, wasn't it was a girl. girl. <laughs> it wasn't a <laughs> Pakistan. 
No. Are, are we clear now? Did I say no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, <laughs> wow, double standards. Of yeah, me. ridiculous. I want it's my money back. Mainly just him. Literally. Was like, really? Yeah. And he's, no. He's I left my door open one time when we were playing oh, no. CS:GO. Oh, that's not oh, good. Oh, it was like oh, my yeah. mom told it was like talking to my dad the next day. He's like, she's like. Our son swears like a sailor. That's <laughs> <laughs> like she was <laughs> No. I think we'll go up to dam level. All right, dam is acceptable now. Wow. I don't know if I can handle I that. I damn you to hell, <laughs> like the heretic you are. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> what are you? <laughs> I use Google. I my friends tell me use Google Calendar, but I don't want to make the commitment. Yeah. Well, you okay. have to, not you have to get a new calendar app, though. It's a free I have to download the Google Calendar app. I don't like the it's interface not worth it. It's not worth the extra space. I, I so think it's, it's also not. like, I don't like the interface. That's the Tris philosophy. I used Google Calendars. My project team had to use... We used Google Calendars. I thought you aren't allowed to have a Google account. That's mine. <laughs> no, a lot has changed, Zach. I gotta fill you in. Oh, gosh. Wait, did you okay. actually get a Google account? For school. This doesn't count. I thought, really I knew you wouldn't like, count. you like, were like, I don't want to have a Montreal, a Montreal account. I know, but like, <laughs> everyone. Through through. Email. Okay, whatever. That was so dumb. Irrelevant, yeah. moving on. <laughs> that was Just so dumb. Do you have a Snapchat now? <laughs> no. She has a Bitmoji, but not a Snapchat. Stop, that can was you wait, believe that? Wait, <laughs> can you honestly what? believe that? <laughs> what? Why would you have a Bitmoji? <laughs> because my roommates bullied me into getting it, okay? But why would they not you believe the word Snapchat? Because yeah. I very lately refuse to get Snapchat. That's, it's a waste of my time. It is a waste of your time. Bitmoji is a waste of your time. And I Do also you use don't. Them? What? Do you use them? Yeah, my roommate and I send them back and forth all the time. Do you hate She sent me one one time no, and I went yes, off. You do. You hate you. Though. No, I don't. They're. I You've she literally went... complained about oh. her all the time. No, I don't. I have two roommates. Yes, one you hated sucks? both of them, I thought. No. Yes, it. You literally sent me <laughs> no. so many rants about how fake they are. Exposed. <laughs> no. Like, girl. I don't want to keep being played. We need a content combo. What? Right? <laughs> this is like an aspect of my personal life that I really don't want to bring into the podcast, and I would appreciate not bringing it into the podcast. Bitmoji? No. Bitmoji? No. <laughs> like, Looks oh. Zach, she sent me one one time, and I actually got livid. Like, I, I He got really mad, actually. Do you have one? Sam made me get one. <laughs> so you do have one. Yeah, I'm whipped. <laughs> I never use it. So like, I, yeah, she it, made it for me, and I deleted the app immediately. I <laughs> use it on Snapchat. Oh. No, I I have oh, one, I but I just have it so that it. my my profile isn't just some blank. Hey, here's a cut cookie cutter picture of an orange person. <laughs> like like it just be an orange um, blank. Like a silhouette. Slate. Yeah, like a silhouette. That's the words. A silhouette. And so now it looks like me. But every single time I see a bitmoji thing, it's really cringe. But okay, so I was talking with my friend one time on Snapchat and. It was something like, I was just gonna say, oh hey, look at that, and then the bitmoji that came up was my bitmoji looking through a window like this. <laughs> like, it, it, it was really creepy. Are you a voyeurist, Kevin? Oh, I, I don't think so. Okay. Good Chris, enough. what did you just send me? <laughs> oh, you told I have a snack, I gotta keep our streets. BFFs, <laughs> hashtag nip. <laughs> <laughs> I had to keep our streak going of six. Wait, you have a streak? Wow, I'm so proud of you. Well, it used to be a lot higher than I We really lose did. it like every 19 days. It's my fault every time. Mar tries to, Mar tries I turned off my notifications for time. I'm just like, open five them minutes. and I'm just like staring at it. It's like, left on open, like, open three like, hours ago. <laughs> but Cassie, I think about this a lot about you. About think, how, Zach. like, since you, I think that a Facebook is a really important thing to have no. nowadays. No, no. And the fact that, like, I'm like, I like talk to like Nick. I'm like, I have no idea what's going on in Cassie's life because she doesn't yeah, text I me. Know, and she doesn't have a Facebook. I'll text so then you I have, then I don't do anything. I do really a lot of things. Liar. You really don't do anything. Uh, and then also, you have no idea what's going on in things. my life. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on in my life. I'm doing bippity boppity. Yeah, but see, all the that's the, the thing is like that's. I think for me at least that like helps me avoid like superficial connections. Like I don't care about what some random person from high school is doing. Not not you particularly. I'm just no, saying let's a random figure person. No, let you even harder. No, and it's like if you actually want to contact me, who's like people. Let's find out. <laughs> no, but like people that actually want to contact me will make the effort and say like, hey, let's get dinner, and it's like okay. I play Catan with Nick all the time. Oh my god. Maybe there's like. Wait, Catan or Catan? Yeah. I think I I say either or. Guys, don't. Can we play? 
I would yeah, play. I, I'm, I'm so I've down. never played, actually. Yo, I've, really? heard, I've heard I've, I should play. It's been I've many played years. so much as a kid, though. I had, I had the, the app on my iPod when I first got the iPod Touch, and I bought the <laughs> expansion for, like, the C. On the, not on the night expansion, though. I didn't buy that one. Yeah, you don't need that. Yeah. Seafarer's edition. It's a fun yeah, game. The sea, that, I've heard that I would was like the it. one. Yeah, I, got, I, I know oh, it, Kevin. I know it. I've played that Have so played, much. It was you like, played One Night Werewolf with us, though, right? No. Oh, I, really? No, I was actually supposed to play Werewolf um, at school, but then um, Plants Fell Apart, but a couple of my friends at school play it. Mm-hmm. You, you would like them. You would like them. Would I? But Yeah, you would. I don't have a high standard of people who I like. Hmm. Well, I think you would like them. You, 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 Why you, do you like me? <laughs> yes, you're like at the bare edge. Oh. <laughs> you just you just made it. I just did. Like the yeah. cut point. Scraping the barrel. Scraping the barrel. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, must say. I don't like how you're tests. on your phone while you're recording a podcast, though. I'm Probably checking the list. No, yeah. The list of things to talk about? Yes. I, I could pull it. you two are catching pull, up. I could pull anything yeah. out of my ass if you want to talk about What do you want to talk about? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, you want to pick a random <laughs> Well, let me see what, <laughs> let me see what just, like, the categories are. I don't, I don't know why I wrote this down, one. but it's just crop duster filled with anthrax. <laughs> yeah, I see. I'm pretty so wait, I, wait, why do I remember talking about this? Because I did said a, it before. It's I did a, uh, I did a project on anthrax. She loves anthrax. <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> great. Yes. Not, As an idea. No, why, wait, why, I'm actually confused. Practice. Why is yes. this great? Crop duster filled with anthrax? No, why is anthrax is, great? Sell me on anthrax. Elevator anthrax pitch. is the greatest form of bioterrorism because the spores it creates when it runs out of nutrients are resistant to radiation, changes in heat, changes in pressure, changes in pH. So they're like almost immor- nearly immortal spores. They, they're, they're very good because them. they can... Yeah, they can be stored for a long time. They don't need a whole lot because they're basically dormant. So how do you kill them? Or how do you destroy it? How do you prevent them? I don't oh. know much about spores. Oh, you can't. You just breathe it all in? Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. 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 Open it and you just... Yeah. 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 If a crop duster <laughs> flew over New York City filled with anthrax spores, most people would die because of uh, inhalation anthrax. Because you breathe it in, it gets in your lungs. And the thing is, the acceleration of symptoms is very, very quick. And it's very acute. So, like... After the incubation period, like, if you don't figure out you have anthrax, you basically only have, like, seven days to live. It's a perfect storm. <laughs> so we're ready to crop duster? No. No, <laughs> no it's, it's a great thing. Well, I saw Megan's Law on there twice. I don't remember what that Did is. Did I put oh it on God. there twice? Martin, you really love Megan's Law. It's not Megan's Law. Law. I already realized Megan. What is it? I, it sounds so familiar. So the wow. thing is, it's, uh, registered sex offenders have to be... Never mind, it's not what I thought it was. <laughs> I thought it was going to be something about physics. No, it's about registered sex be. offenders have to have a profile like in a publicly accessible database. No, wait, no. Never mind. I didn't know that. And you can look up your zip code, and you can find yes. out how many are in your... Yeah. Uh, I sent us all those. Uh, yeah, yeah I looked caps. up everyone else's zip codes, like for yeah, their schools. Yeah, it's weird. All right, so like Montville, 122 registered sex offenders. Wow. Gettysburg, zero. Wow. No, Ithaca, one. I think it was like was nine. Like Yours was like that's zero. That's yeah, that's sort of right next to the bad. Hoboken, mm-hmm. oh. five thousand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen um, Arrested Development? Yeah. No, wait, no, but no, I've no. heard it's good. No. Oh, actually, it's a very good show. I'm a big fan. <laughs> yeah. like, there's a, in the fourth in the fourth season, the latest there's season, more, the next one comes out next week. Um, this guy, they, the family owns is like a real estate company, and the guy accidentally builds a real estate like a community that is not connected to any road. Oh yeah. <laughs> and so, and it's not near any schools or any parks. And so he's like, so the question is like, how does he, who would, who would want to live there? Yes. And at the end they're like, let's have all the sex offenders live there. Oh my God. Because it's not near a school, it's not near any parks and it's pretty secluded. And so they, that's like how they sell all the houses. That's sell like... the sex offenders. It's brilliant. Put them in camps. <laughs> and then that's... we fly the crop duster over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sure. So yes, yeah. that's the end of that. Did they actually Someone put Megan's Law on there twice? Yeah, oh, they put it twice. twice. I'm sorry. I'd love to be a pilot. Yeah, I mean, Why not have a pilot's license for a crop test? Oh, that's you, I, I have a friend who's a pilot. I must so have written it down while well, I, well, I had it on the brain. Maybe. And then again, we didn't tell her about it. Maybe? I'd have to ask her. One of my friend's dads 
is a pilot for Delta Airlines. Yes, you know, he's like, a career. Get a you know, commercial. Her, 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 her friend will do, though. No, no I, have, I don't know. I, I feel like she has a lot of questions. Have... No, no. And no, she's, no. A, she's a pilot. She can fly a plane. I don't know if she can fly a... Crop Is crop duster any plane. different? It's a plane. It's a plane. Okay. It flies. Because okay. in the air, he drops anthrax. Well, I mean, I don't know much about crop dusters. I'm not a resident aviation expert. Today, so. I saw a truck on so my street fly, that was, so like, expelling... I'm guessing it was, like, mosquito repellent behind like behind it i thought that was really crazy to look at yeah. definitely because like there's a huge oh, mosquito yeah. problem going on oh yeah mosquito. Oh, oh, we know. Know. oh yeah we we well aware like, like, you know. like, alive. yeah but they're like super <laughs> bad this song? year yes. Yes. Yeah. and like something i forgot there's a ton of standing <laughs> water that's the problem because <laughs> mm-hmm. we had like a month of rain and no one's yards are like prepared so it's like you out there yeah so like there's just a ton of standing water and the mosquitoes are like Free real estate. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Hey. I saw you set it up. I, was... I think this is the first time our basement hasn't flooded. Oh, yeah. It's been flooded in a long time now. It's really exciting. I'm really happy. It gets flooded at least once a year. I use a Wii board to elevate Sometimes twice. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering why you still have this board is good for. <laughs> honestly, we got well, square it's... carpet so I could remove it tile by tile. Wow. Oh, actually, just, actually just in the it hasn't flooded it's in a while, again. but I've had to replace carpet kind of recently because our other friend David spilled oh, soda. Oh, David. He, he also he, spilled he, soda. He flipped an open soda. He got it on the ceiling. He did it also on the ceiling. I don't know if he thought it was closed. I didn't see it happen. I just heard the scream. It was, I saw it happen. It was terrifying. It was was the most obvious act of stupidity I think I've ever seen. Stewart's like the good stuff. Wow, I was like picturing grape soda for some reason. I don't know why. No, no, not far off. Not far off. Because I don't like grape soda, but that was like the first thing I pictured when he flipped it. Not a bottle. It could have been grape. It could have. It was not. Just as easily been grape. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's exciting. A crop duster. <laughs> Over right, right. Let's look through the list. We'll, we'll pick a we'll pick a random one. Give me something, baby. Something juicy, or not juicy. Something to sink my teeth into. Are safe spaces a form of censorship? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. But Depends yeah. how large the safe space is and where. Depends who designates the safe space. Is this the like government designated like well, I mean, safe space? Inside of the safe space, everything is censored, so it's technically. And is, is this like a physical safe space or like an internet safe this space? Is a large part of my, um, it's a really good question. And I'm really trying hard to think about it because I'm super pro safe spaces and I'm also super pro freedom of speech. <laughs> Down boy. <laughs> I go to like, I go to a super PC school and it's made me super PC and... Oh, you're in the wrong crowd. Oh, no. and, I, and like, oh, if this swear jar thing wasn't in effect... <laughs> He'd be all over you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, He's struggling right now. We're like bouncing. Yeah. 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 That's definitely the heat. It's the heat. We can take a break. We can come back to this. Oh no. He might not make it back. <laughs> you want to take a break, guys? Sure. We'll take a break. break after this. All right. We'll take a message. quick 15 minute break. Are we going to have this topic? For morning, We're gonna come back to safe space. I won't be participating. This is sponsored by Anthrax. Smell it. And we're back. All right. So we were talking about are safe spaces a form of censorship? And in the corner, we have Andrew. <laughs> the corner. <laughs> the corner. We have Andrew who says, yes, they are a form of censorship. And in the everywhere else, we have a number of different opinions that probably don't mean anything. <laughs> Uh, but we're going to turn to our guest, Zach, who is actually coincidentally in the opposite corner of the table as Andrew. So it just so happens. It wasn't intentional, I swear. What do you say, Zach? Do you think um, safe spaces are bad? <laughs> Slowly slow toward the mic by Andrew. I go with yes. Yes, they're bad. Yes. Why? Because, well, like Martin said... Well, he asked me, are they censorship? I said, yes, I think censorship is bad in pretty much any form. As he knows, it's like I'm playing about him censoring my words on the podcast constantly. It's just the one time. It's been more than once. <laughs> True. Sometimes you I choose it. my words not that carefully, but I still want them to be heard. Not <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying that it's bad because it's censorship? Yes. Do you think it has any good value to it? Do you see the value in having them? I see the value that 
certain people might see in them. I see no value in them. I think it's... I don't really know too much about it, but I think it's kind of disillusioning. Like, you're creating this safe space for someone, and then they're not... not it's almost like not, they're not prepared for the real world. Like, when you go out in the world, no one's gonna, no one's gonna cater to you or protect you. I feel like safe spaces are an attempt, are an attempt to not offend people. And people are, and people, of course, I know you, I know you think, or it's true. We're very bad at not offending people. We right. are offending people. No, but go the thing is, like, people. people are, people, it's fun to me. people currently are getting offended. It seeming, seems like it's more often than ever before, and everyone's very sensitive, which is true. Or, or now, or I try to think about the reason why that is, or, or why we're seeing that. Um, and I think that it could, it could deal with people being more okay with with certain types of perspectives and um, the way that those are are brought out in society these days, and now and people are just are saying like, okay, now that like we're becoming more open to these things, we also have to be aware of like um, these people's feelings and emotions, and and try to create a space where they feel feel welcome. Uh, to be a part of that space. So censorship, I'm not sure is the right word for describing it. Does anyone else want to take that? Cast I mean, you're saying like welcoming people, but like realistically in the world, no one's going to do that. Like you walk into, and I mean, yeah, I know what you, I get what you're saying. Like, oh, we're trying to like, I think it that depends shift. on the setting in which it yeah, occurs. Yeah, because like, let's say you have a safe space and it's in a mall. Like, in a mall, you can kick people out for what they say, because it's private property. It's your property, you can do whatever you want. And so, you can have a safe space there. Like, like I feel like it's perfectly rational. If someone is saying, hey, you all are going to hell unless you believe in Jesus and spouting that and they're really annoying, you can kick them out. If someone yeah. is uh, saying stuff that's potentially harmful to other people, you should kick, you should be able to kick them out. There's like a, there's you like can stand, but you can stand on the edge of the property and still can say to say that they can't do anything. Yes. Yeah, I don't think but that, that's not, but that's not your space. property. That's not, that's not the same space. space. You, still with, you still stand within like earshot of the safe space is my I mean, point. also safe space also depends on what we're like using it as. Yeah, depends. like, is it a set location or is it just like this like, this campus is a safe space, for example. Yeah, and I, like, I don't see, like, completely... safe like spaces space as, like... Sorry. I don't see, like, space, safe Sorry. spaces Sorry. as, like, like public, po like, like public areas. Like, I, in my head, I'm thinking, like, a classroom. Uh, you're going to be in a classroom. It's a safe space. You know that no one's going to say, like, the N-word to people or, like, use derogatory language or, like, make fun of people for their sexual orientation. Like, all that kind of stuff. I think that's what a safe space, to me, but at the same time, in a classroom setting, anyone that actually does that would be regarded as rather, you should say, just immature or a buffoon. Yeah, or, it's it's, or an extremist. My, mm -hmm. my point being, you, don't, you shouldn't need to have a s definition of a place where you can't do that to not do that. You just should know not to do that. Yes, yeah, just because there's a likelihood, just, just because like, courtesy. you have a space where there is like a lesser likelihood of someone being exposed to the things that would upset them, it doesn't mean that like, you leave the classroom and you could be talking to someone behind their back about things in a way that would, if they overheard it, it would upset them. So it basically, like, voids the whole point of having a safe space if they're just going to be exposed to it anyhow. Also, if you, even if you are in that safe space and, or, like, in that place that's supposed to be a safe space and someone says something bad, like, then everyone in the room is going to form their own opinions about that person. It's not like they're being forced to agree. It's not like it's the teacher at the front of the room saying, okay, class, this is what we're doing. This is what we're believing in. Like, it's just some person saying anything. So why does what they're saying have any... Why, did, why should what they say have any meaning to you? You can just be like, whatever. Like, it's the same thing with the internet. Like, you have so many people saying so many stupid things. Is that a swear word? Am I allowed to say stupid? Oh, come on. No, sorry, we're sorry, really that was a joke. No, what do you okay. mean? What's wrong with you? <laughs> okay, so there's some That's people, another in the swear jar. I'm sorry. So that's my friend. What are you saying doing? Saying unintelligent things. Um, oh, that's And, like, you, you, you go through and you filter. You say, like, okay, this person's saying the N-word. I don't agree with this. I'm going to ignore this. Or this Knowledge. person's... Yeah. So you can kind of go through and just filter. <laughs> what, <laughs> Knowledge isn't an N-word. <laughs> it starts with a K. Wait, oh, were you saying... 
I think that. Wait, I thought you were agreeing with me about. You've been had. I knew that you were making a joke, but I think she thought you were being like. Yeah, knowledge. I thought he was saying like. I thought no, he was saying knowledge like, is an N word. No, I thought he was saying you have the knowledge as a person to go through and filter this. That's why no, I thought you were agreeing. Knowledge with. is an N word. No. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> what if there was like? <laughs> what if like there was like a lounge at your school, and they're like, this room is like a safe space. If you're feeling bullied outside, or you're feeling discriminated, or anything like that, you can come to this space. It's a safe space. You're not going to feel like that here. Well, another point is that safe spaces are more or less unenforceable, especially the larger you make them, like with an entire school or campus. You can't really enforce that, at least not everywhere at right. the same time. That's it's, not what I'm saying, though. It's I said, like, a I think if you're feeling I mean, that way, I mean, you should see a counselor. Then or stand up for yourself. The, the topic, <laughs> <laughs> what a novel idea. <laughs> the, 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 the topic at hand isn't about if it can be enforced, just whether the idea of space, safe spaces is uh well i think if you do so enforce them not... it is a form of censorship that's also true yeah by enforcing it you're censoring somebody but, i mean censorship i don't agree with the idea but i think censorship can be allowed in certain places i mean like yeah you you continue like i know there are we like in terms of the first amendment like there are certain you can censor certain things in certain places for just basic like values in our society like for example like they used to censor swear words and things on TV because it was like protecting the home, protecting children. And it's like, you don't want that invading your space. And obviously a lot of that has changed just as technology has changed. But the idea of censorship was originally, okay, we need to, if people go out into the public, if they go out into the public sphere, they can be exposed to anything. And we have freedom of speech in the public sphere, but in the home, in the the privacy of the home, there is some censorship, which is why like, I can't think of any more specific examples, but like the TV one is a big one because it's like, you, in the privacy of your home, you should have that protection where you don't have to be bombarded by this outside. But then as technology has changed and as like, yeah, and as the internet has become like a more prevalent part of our lives, like that has changed. I think what you're trying to say is you can't shout fire in a crowded theater. Yeah. Like that's the example people use for like, sent, like the first moment doesn't cover that. Um, I think that maybe it's like, I think there are like, there, there are laws. Like, there can be laws. You can't be naked out in public. You can be naked in your own room. You can't be racist in this safe space. You can be racist somewhere else. <laughs> You're killing me, Zach. You're just ruining, like that? You're ruining Chris's weekend. That's my weekend, weekend, man. That's so his entire nice. lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Running around naked, shouting slurs. <laughs> that's all he has. <laughs> oh, that really is all. That's all I got, man. Yeah. Come on. You've seen my calendar? Yeah. I have one. <laughs> it just says, be naked. <laughs> that's not even a calendar. There's no numbers. <laughs> yeah, it's just, just, just post it now. It's just a reminder. <laughs> <laughs> so like that's why I think like you can't like you can enforce that in this space we're like not going to say offensive things you can't say the United States safe space like people can do what they planet want planet earth safe space <laughs> but I think like sure, in like a cl- like in a classroom in high school like I knew like teachers would put up like things on their wall and said this is a safe space those are areas where like I totally understand why that needs to be a safe space yeah, classroom. Because it, it'll disrupt the classroom. If you just have, like, a gay kid sit in the class and then, like, then, like, you have Andrew in the back, gay, gay, <laughs> just like, <laughs> like, yeah. like a car alarm just screaming <laughs> out in the back of the room. Gay, yeah, like, it's, like, it's gay. disruptive to the class. Gay. And, oh and God, it's also I'm places, Andrew to say <laughs> it's also a place where you don't want, you don't want anyone in there to be uncomfortable or else it would make a negative impact on what the goal of the classroom is. I feel like you don't need to but what about places that anything. aren't classrooms, like internet safe spaces? Like, I don't go to the internet to learn. I go to. I, mean, I do. <laughs> I mean, like, I go to a fan. <laughs> I know that like Reddit <laughs> has gotten like heat for it, but like Reddit um, has done like a lot of censoring. Like the and only thing everyone's upset about it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I but the thing is, a lot of a lot of times the community of Reddit will censor things that are like is, like, that will, like, they'll, like, downvote it into oblivion, so, like, it won't even rise to the top. Well, no, you, like, mods can, like, completely censor, like, that or, too. or on YouTube, you can do it where you can submit, like, a list of words, and if someone comments with those words, it, like, doesn't get posted. Right. So, like, internet, sent, like, that kind of thing does exist on the internet. What do you think about people on Twitter blocking people? 
who don't agree with them. Oh, that whole thing. Well, what are we going to talk, I mean, talk about? Trump? I think that's fine. No, not even Trump. Just like in general. I just mean, like because like, I see a lot of times it's like someone makes like a valid counter argument to someone, and they'll just like they'll just block them. I mean, like you can block them. Yeah. I think. Yeah. But it, but I the thing that... is, they'll block every single. From here to now. Well, I mean, that's well, yeah, from your you perspective, can, you can it's not like it doesn't exist. It's irrelevant, yeah. yeah. That's like, doesn't it, but people. doesn't it run, don't you run the risk of creating an echo chamber then? I don't. You're, personally. They want that. I mean, sure. They want yeah. that. If I Google vaccines are bad, I can ignore everything that says otherwise. Yeah. 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 Um, I think so that, I, I think that the Trump thing is an interesting thing to talk about, like, like, the, or do we not go It's touchy, it's touchy. We talk about everything but Trump. Basically. Well, like, I think that you could talk about, like, could, should politicians be able to censor? So to generally block? politicians. I don't think public well, figures. Like, that's the thing. Like, public figures who rely on public opinion. And I know that. shouldn't necessarily. And I know that the big, like, counter that the Trump administration was making was like, oh, well, he's doing it on his personal account, not the POTUS account. He's doing I mean, it on the, like, He is. Right, but they the judge just determined that he still can't do that because he's still. He's still making. Because his Twitter acts as a public forum. He very much does, yeah. I don't know enough about Twitter to, like, intelligently comment on We'll make you wonder about it. Oh, please don't. Well, like... <laughs> you use Twitter. <laughs> but, like, you understand, like, like, he will post a tweet... I don't think anyone uses Twitter anymore. ...that, and, like, Donald people... MySpace. And people, like, respond to that tweet and be like, you're stupid, and he'll block, and he'll block them, so they can't see his tweets anymore. Well, yeah, think about the amount of, like, nonsense posts he gets. Or, like, no, no, nonsense no. replies of... Yeah, people but just, could, should he be able to block those if people? If they just say, you're stupid, yeah. I mean, he could... He should block, he could block I them? I think if they say, you're stupid, not something like constructive or an opinion. Like, I guess no, you're stupid. No, you should no be able to determine like, what you think is stupid, because... You should have like, block it. Block block okay, but I mean, even though. if he doesn't, even if he doesn't block it, he could just not read it, and that's essentially the same thing. Well, it's, he's choosing no, 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 but what? if you block someone, then they can't read your tweets either. So basically... Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, since so, you're blocking them, so he's blocking all the people that don't, that he doesn't agree with. So he's choosing to not share, isn't that the same thing as me, I know I don't have Instagram, but like if I block someone on Instagram, they wouldn't be able to see what I put out into the, yeah. wanted to share with the public sphere, because I don't want to share that with them. Isn't right, this but the you're same the, when you're the president, when you're a public figure and you're making statements about yeah, if the statements like, are about I okay, want all the re- like you could block you, all the then. Democrats. Okay, I only want Republicans to see this message. But I don't think he's putting. Is he putting like significant information? Like I yes, look, yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah, like, I'm sorry, he just that like, was me. That's kind of how he's like the letter was. where he said that the North Korean summit was canceled. He put that on his Twitter account. Why doesn't he put it? What, like, what did they do yeah. before this Twitter? Is how like, he's why can't I just don't know this? Is I feel like it's just a poor That's system. Like, Twitter is like. A, Right. Yeah, well, this is right. where he's longer. making his main communication yeah, with this like, entire world. He doesn't hold press conferences. He tweets. So instead of holding, a, so if that's then I then I don't think they should block it because if if it's limiting the if it's preventing the person from accessing the full scope of knowledge, then like that's really not fair. I mean, that's all blocking though. If you block someone, you can't gain any knowledge from any of their tweets. Yeah, but I'm saying, I'm, yeah, but like your, your life is. But I'm saying, like Trump doesn't have to look at, or he doesn't have to look at these people saying, "Oh, you're stupid. I hate you. Not my president." Like he, I agree that he shouldn't have to read that, and if he wants to tune that out, he can. But I don't think he can prevent other people from seeing what he decides to say, especially because it has such a well, yeah, you down can impact. Mute yeah, there's, there's if he was just a blogger or something, I would be like, okay, whatever. It, but. It's also the difference between genuine criticism and people just saying, your mom gay. <laughs> like, no, but I still don't think he should, I still don't think he can block anybody. As he's a public not, figure. He's not in the position as a public figure to, right. uh, to have the like, power to block I can people. block Martin from my Twitter because he's harassing it's me. A, it's it's understandable. I, I am terrible to him. And then, <laughs> but if I'm the if I'm the if I'm making statements about the government that you live in, then yeah. that's I think like it depends what kind of public figure. Like if you're like insta famous, like no, I no, no, no. I'm talking about like politician. Okay, it's like yeah. Yeah, I don't think that in people that whose actions actually cause change in the real world. So yeah. that's not exactly an internet safe space. That's more on like a personal level. Well, he's creating his own safe space by doing that. He's carving out his own wedge okay. in the internet sphere. But what about like safe spaces that like pre- that already exist 
beforehand, like that are designed specifically to be safe spaces. Like, I don't know if that is such a thing exists. But, like, the way you were saying with a lounge, but, like, that's more like a physical thing, but, like... Or, like, like a internet, place on the like internet. A, like a place on the internet board. is a safe space. I'm creating, like, like this yeah, Discord channel you to can, be a safe space. Yeah, well, like, let's like talk that. about what if there's, like, a My Little Pony um, subreddit. Oh, yeah. They're not gonna let... <laughs> I, I swear, I think one of my professors subreddit this, this year. <laughs> but, um, I want to hear this. But, like, let's say there was a My Little Pony subreddit. If you were thought everyone on that subreddit was dumb and you were like everyone posts a picture of how much they love my little pony and you're always commenting like my little pony's fucking gay put a dollar in the, in the swear jar yeah. um <laughs> then then they'll ban you do you think that's okay yes i think that's okay as well yeah that's, it's, it's a private okay. space i don't it's, it's been, a private space. It's, it's been a, set up. It's a our, private space. They create yeah. rules. Able, every yeah. mod ha- every subreddit has yeah. rules you have well, to follow. I don't know enough about Reddit to say because, like, for example, if it was like, I'm thinking more on like a physical level. Like, if these like yeah. people were out in a park and they were having like some sort of weird parade and someone came by and was like, "Boo! This is stupid." Well, like, if it violates the rules would, of the location, yeah, if you're, yeah. that's what's that's what would determine whether or not well, if yeah. you're subreddit or but public. But what? What but like also like public spaces, like I think are there you can't. Like, is the internet limit. not a public space? Like this My Little Pony no. thing. Like, could the I not? Not a public space. Really? Because I well, would. Going, I would you're argue going that to it a is. domain. Like you're going to a select place. Yeah. It's like well, instead of going purpose. out to eat, I'm gonna just go on the internet. And... It's like. And to eat knowledge, eat code instead of going out. to Don't eat. say the n word, Martin. I still starve to death. Knowledge. <laughs> Yeah, no, but, like, I think no. the fact, like, when you go out into the world, <laughs> you're, like, engaging with people, and you have to be prepared to the fact that you're going to receive an influx of opinions, not all of which you'll agree with, and you, that's when you choose to, like, filter stuff out, and I think it's the same thing with the internet, especially as we are becoming a more internet-dominated culture. So I think, like... I think I, when you use, like, when you say the real world, I don't think that's true. So you like, think... Like, I feel like that was something everyone would say in high school, it's like... You know, in the real world, they're not going to, like, be this nice to you. Yeah. I don't think that's true. Well, like, what do you mean? Like, no. I found, well, <laughs> I see what Zach true. is saying. It's because it people be are true. typically more civil in the real world and more likely to stand up for something that's, like, like, if I saw Andrew just kicking Chris in the teeth, Please I'd stop. probably stop Andrew. Wait, that's different. Right? That's an act of violence, <laughs> <Please stop. laughs> not speech. But, like, Thank you, Mark. because of the, but. <laughs> don't. He'll stop you. Yeah. <laughs> if only he sees you. Oh, ah, yeah. Ooh, good point. Yeah. Blind the first thing you do it as like a pocket sand. <laughs> pocket oh, sand. But if like, like, but if like, if online, like if I saw Andrew picking on Chris online, there's not a whole lot I can do. I think you would join. That's him. different though because that's <laughs> right, specific. That's besides the point. Because <laughs> it's like, in the physical realm, like in the real world, like people are typically more civil and more likely to stand up. And do something about it then online or I don't even think the real world is like a everyone's yeah. running around going nuts. Like, no, exactly. like, like, like anarchic as everyone makes it out to be. No, on the on the internet, you don't have a like a I want to say a face, but that's not it. It's yeah, like, you don't have you 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 don't have to live up to all of the consequences of something you say on the internet as compared to in real life. But so, um, I think the question is like, yeah. can an internet space be private? Well, I think yeah. Then but also, also another question cool. is like, you're talking. I know you said a specific example of like bullying for or one on one, one on one, one on one, like picking like on someone. But like, as opposed to just, what about like that? Would, that's like a specific example of someone saying something directed at someone. What about someone saying something generally that would offend someone? Or like, like I'm thinking of like. Uh, there's like a Supreme Court case where this guy, oh my god, no, I can't swear. You just go just do it. I hate old Martin. He that. said he wore a ja- um, he wore a jacket in an LA courthouse that said "F the draft," and there was a huge like riot. What? It's Why funny. are you laughing at me? It's funny. Bonk no, for Jesus. no, and it was a huge. Bonk oh, for Jesus, yeah. 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 <laughs> no, and... that sign is in the museum. I've really? seen it so many times, and I like, I like looked at, it and I was like, oh my god, that's the actual sign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, no, but this guy, this guy wore a j- this jacket. Uh, it's I think wait, yeah, Cohen versus California. Look it up. 
but um, he wore this jacket and like he got arrested because they were like, you can't do that, like it's not allowed. And he's like, no. you can't say that. Yeah, and he was just <laughs> like, Harvey. dude, First Amendment, and <laughs> like just, just Steve Harvey face. <laughs> You know the Steve Harvey face? Yeah. 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 And then, yeah. And then the answer Andy obviously Harvey. appears on the board, and then he's like, oh. <laughs> hey, like I like the naked Steve grandma Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey. Naked like grandma. Naked one now. <laughs> okay, sorry. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay, I'm enjoying this. Against him. I'm reading the Cohen v. California case. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, but basically they determined that they were like, when you, when you, like, if you go, go into this courthouse, or, like, it's a public space, and even though it is a courthouse, like, you still have to be prepared to, you know, see things that you might not like or might not agree with. And this was during, this was during Vietnam, so, like, that's why there was a lot of, like, anti-war sentiment. Um, but, so basically they were like, yeah, like, you're fine because First Amendment. And, like, the thing is, people can actively do stuff. They can, for example, avert their eyes from his jacket, or they can choose not to engage in conversation with him because they have different, differing political views. So something like that. So it's like there are steps you can do take to avoid certain things that you see in the real world that you don't agree with or bother you. Or like, but what if, say, because a lot of people do have this, you have PTSD because you were raped. And some guy is going around with a picture on his sweatshirt of rape. So when you see that, that immediately, because of your condition, makes you just not think straight and it recalls back to that horrific event. When it's it's you, like post-traumatic stress disorder and it makes mm -hmm. you like it's actually like you having that you doing or having a certain thing makes it like a danger to other people yeah and and so like there's if he had some picture of rape on his shirt let's say instead of f the draft that would be terrible for someone who just first you need to know to avert your eyes from something, yeah. but like, but if you want to know, you need to avert your eyes from something. You need to know what's there first. See, you can't just be like, but that's oh a, shoot, that's, that's a difficult not there. thing because like, look at it. like obviously it's awful that he like I completely disagree with the fact that he's wearing that on the sweatshirt. But it's not like he went out and was like, oh hey, I know there's a rape victim out there. Let me wear this sweatshirt. To he wasn't targeting her specifically, or him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. pronouns. Uh, he wasn't targeting, because he wasn't targeting the person specifically, and he was just wearing it because it was his freedom of expression. Maybe he was like, this represents something to me, and it's my my way of speech, my way of expression. The and that's why he's wearing flag. it. Yeah, exactly. He well, wasn't... What if I wore a strobe light, and I ran through the 5K for the epileptic children? <laughs> oh my god. Is that not a form Wait, of self-expression? Wait, that's actually horrible. I love the idea. Of is that not a form of self-expression? That's that would oh be different. God. That's not a form, only a form of self-expression, but it's an action because it's also based on location. So like that. That's like strobe lights. No. I'm a party kind of guy. I define myself party I own, I, I, I own a place that sells strobe lights. Like that's part of my identity. This is my business. But that's not just a form of self But if I had but if I had the rape sweatshirt. And I was like, I like walked past like a rape victim with PTSD and they like freaked out and like punched a wall and broke their hand. But is that not on the level? Like, yes, but you weren't intentionally like, it's not like you went to like a I didn't know a there rape was an yeah, yeah, you didn't 5K. know there was an epilepsy. I just knew it was a 5k. I didn't know what it was for. I didn't know it was for the epilepsy Okay, pretty foundation. sure that would never happen because they would stop I was walk I was walking was out to get my mail and I yeah, had my shiny is, disco ball shirt on. With the F the thing, out. they stopped him. They they got him. They did stop him. They arrested him. Yeah, so would not be the same thing. No, but I'm You're saying, saying it's permissible to stop the guy with the flashing shirt. No, I don't think they would stop him. <laughs> I mean, okay. I don't know <laughs> if that would even happen. They would stop him. They would I'm stop walking. Him. I have a strobe light in my house. You have a strobe light in your house. I leave my door open because I'm going to take the trash out and get my mail. And the, all the epileptic kids are running past, doing their 5K, raising money for charity. I don't think and the epileptic they, they, people are running one of the them 5K. Turns their, okay, one of them fair? turns yeah, their yeah, head and accidentally <laughs> looks into my house. <laughs> That's a freak <laughs> accident, and it's in the privacy of your own house. Yeah, that one... No, but even if you're one, wearing the shirt, it's yeah. like a freak accident. It's not like you were going out and... I don't think you should be in trouble for that. Like, what I about, do not think there's any law that will be like... Do you think they could tell him to leave? They would probably tell him, uh... I think that's what would happen today. Because, yeah, well, yeah. well, the thing is, no, because the thing is, they if you wore a strobe light, to, if you actually mm -hmm. wore a strobe light to, like, a center with epileptic people, for example, 
That's causing harm to people. What if he didn't know better? Then there were, well, someone would tell him and say, no, no, no. hey, do you think that... we're about to cause harm. I feel like we're completely you do disregarding that. the fact that none of this would ever happen in the real world. Yeah. yeah. We have so many social... Okay, no, but the thing is... 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 The I think if you yeah. were what if, if I was you wore a fuck Chris Trump shirt about... to the White House, they'd say leave. They wouldn't arrest you. What yeah. if I was talking to Chris about a rape victim and I happened to walk past a, a safe space, but they left the door open? And there's a no, safe then, space then for you're rape not victims. in the safe space. It's fine. That's kind of what the safe space. I is. think the safe they space is why it doesn't work. But what well, I'm stop. laughing. <laughs> I think the space space would be, would be closed <laughs> off if it existed. But I think safe space is very difficult because I feel like I feel like a home. Home would be a safe space. Like I think my mo- like for example, like, like a- the loony bin. Yes. <laughs> I mean, like my home, like where I live. Like an asylum. No, 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 no. Like a house. Like a cage. <laughs> <laughs> All of these are lovely analogies, but incorrect. So, like, like for example, if I walked into into like this home wearing a, an offensive shirt, like your parents could tell me, "Oh, you can't wear that in my house. Uh, I'm uncomfortable with that," or something like that. Or like, I like. I don't know, my parents are pretty chill with things, so I don't know how they would react. But, like, That's just in general. That's an interesting idea. Let's test it out. That's, what if no, I'm actually, suit wait, too? actually, Let's please go crazy. No, wait. let's just go on guns loaded, just on our hips everywhere. Hey, go Mid- Buzz, Steve, Steve would break out his own gun and be like, ah, yeah. shooting range. Yeah, let's go. So, yeah. You know if he didn't know who we were? <laughs> I mean, he knows who you are. <laughs> if you didn't? If he didn't, he would probably see us to disguise who you were. Or he found some new targets. Or he found some new targets. Either we get a shooting buddy or we die with honor. I think it's a win-win. <laughs> See, but but okay, this is this is like derailing. But um, why did you Safe get out space. To oh no, because like like the home is something private, and like you you have command of your own home. You choose what influence you want to let in or out. So like I think with like if if Cohen wanted to wear his F the draft shirt into someone's ha- like into his his um mother-in-law's house and she was like no don't wet- wear that in here i think he would have to abide by that yeah he would but i think in public it. he'll he, he would be able to wear it anywhere and i think that 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 can be extrapolated to a lot of different things i don't so think I anyone's think, arguing that though no 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 but i'm saying the homes are like guaranteed home is like a guaranteed safe space yeah yeah but i'm saying i don't no, think no one's arguing that yeah, yeah. no 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 i'm i'm just baseline baseline what about people who believe that you should keep the public places as safe spaces is that not censorship? What about like no that smoking zones? Is. That's different. That's the, that's, that's actually a health risk. Yeah, yeah and that's. Thing. I just remember I went to like a town hall meeting and they were like, PTSD "That's not a form of speech, though." No, like, you I have know. To... Just a matter of health, I think. I know, but I, it just made me think because I went to a town hall meeting once and they were like, "We're talking about making this part of the park a no smoke zone and this part of the park a smoking zone." I just remember that. It just made me think of that. Yeah, that's. I'm not sure actually how to. Think about Cause that because it, it's not speech. So like, harsh, it, harsh it, language does actually worsen people's health. Like they found correlations between uh, if you're being yeah. harassed. No, but like also any. If you, oh, if you're being I, harassed, I think, then yeah. Well, maybe think about it was swearing. like public no, spaces. No. You can do whatever. Like if someone just said, like the f word around you a bunch of times, that's not going to deteriorate your health or anything. Zach, I feel like that's but, more like public benefits. Like we're trying to, or like like, like more. A health and that's more like a, that's more like an administrative thing of like, hey. um... We're trying to like minimize externalities, or so we're creating this like law that sets up certain like like distinctions in different areas, kind of thing. Yeah, I feel like that's less about like protecting. That's obviously not protecting speech, but that is interesting. Okay, I think we should take a break. We're gonna take a break. Zach has to go, but we are not done yet. Woo. It's not over yet. All right, so we were talking about we censorship. Were, yeah, that. Jesus. Jesus. Talk about our love for Jesus. Jesus. Censorship yeah. and yeah. safe spaces. Safe. Indeed. So do we come to a conclusion? Not but, really, no. 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 My conclusion is that they're unnecessary. I agree. Not, not do like censorship, just because like I feel like people should be more respectful in general. I think most times people are. Yeah, I, I feel we like shouldn't in general, need, yeah, that's true. We shouldn't need. Happens, we shouldn't need them. We kind of just tell it, each other not to yeah. do it. I mean, it doesn't happen. It's kind of like we shouldn't 
need to have airbags, but they're there because I think that's religion is very different. They're much I think different. It because like, because there are always unforeseen circumstances that'll lead to your car getting crashed. But like, I mean, take someone says someone drops an f bomb and you freak out and start crying. Like that's that's not, your that's very, very, level. very yeah, no. I mean, like take Andrew for example, or any of us really, and we like insult very different types of people. But we don't go around going up to people's faces and say it to them. That's kind of like we automatically yeah, have our like, own. Yeah, I would go to school yeah, and be like, and see someone like that's like black and be like, what an n word. Yeah, like, like, like no one does. You, it, you you know, no, 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 no. That's no not reason. how it would it's, normally it's work. You'd, you'd be able to. Just enter, you you know, have conversations with people in that safe space, but then you'd, like, talk to them for a while, then just, I guess, not like them, or you had that inkling from the beginning, then you start saying it. You don't just go up to people like that, but if you're talking right. with someone for a while and get heated, and... Then you just separate. Yeah, that's yeah. what a safe I space says. We need can... you guys to separate then. There's no safe space somewhere you can go and not have just something yeah. like that. I don't think that's a safe space where you go. Just goes, I'm going to go here and you can't follow you me. Shouldn't, you shouldn't add, go into a safe space and then be told that you can't be here because you think wrong. Or because your opinion is different than theirs. It seems like the very I feel like opposite space, of a safe space. I think safe people... space is generally a restriction on specific knowledge or specific subjects. It's not so much like this is offensive. Because that's just a slippery slope that you really can't go down. And then it just doesn't make any sense. And it's just stupid. Yeah, so. I feel like with the safe space thing, it's like, what if, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, like, I feel like certain views It's a very are, recent phenomenon, too. Yeah. I feel like when people say safe space, they think, like, liberals or something like that, but I feel like it should be, like, anyone can go there, like, conservatives mm-hmm. or liberals. Yeah. But they're not, conservatives aren't going, too, because they think they're that's, stupid. That's, that's, that's like, the science point. Yeah, fair. I but have like, this, they, like, like, there can be safe spaces for whatever you think you'd want to have one for. Yeah. Whether it be, like... I agree with that. I feel political like... Political views, like, on any spectrum or opinions on a certain topic. Or what if you had a space, like... I don't want to say the opposite of space space, but a space where any opinion is... I feel like... That's it... just the general... Yeah, I feel like it'd be bad to take that because then it kind of gives the general public an implication that this is a censored space and you can't say what you want. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like yeah if you, I want to wait for the opposite, anyway. then you do intensify the feelings of perceived censorship. What do you mean, censorship? Like, the fact that you're in a safe space, so you can't talk about X, Y, or Z. No, or I'm saying cannot. the opposite. Well, yeah. if you had the opposite, it would intensify, because you're creating a polar- you're polarizing oh, it. Oh, you're polarizing it, that's true. I want to wave my Nazi flag everywhere. <laughs> I agree. Not just in one spot. How dare you? So you're saying we should have specialized safe spaces then for different I, I things? I don't think we should have them. No, I, I, no, I don't think we should we have didn't them. Have I think them they before. shouldn't be no. necessary. The, I feel like we don't need a lot of them. I, I don't really necessary. think they're necessary. But I mean, I think I think we. I feel like a lot of things aren't necessary but are helpful. I feel like that's just kind of general. They're a lot neither. of things are like that. I feel like. Mm-hmm. I feel like I agree with, with you that we like shouldn't have them, or that. I don't. I don't know. Just that people should just be nicer in general and then we wouldn't need them it seems like but like but back to Kevin's it seems end. very much like i think it's like a very recent phenomenon just because like we didn't have them before and with the advent of the internet it's like possible to find communities and niches where you can feel like you fit in but like taking that to the extreme like you create echo chambers in very secluded closed off places where people like aren't used to engaging with people outside of that circle whereas before that if you wanted to find people who you agreed with or people who you wanted to you would actually have to engage with a number of different people and then you would be exposed to yeah all these different opinions by proxy i like that about the echo chamber i mean at the same time i should be able to say that i want to hang out with these certain people whenever and no one can say, no, you have to hang out with everyone. But isn't that kind it's, of the point of almost, like, human interaction and making friends? Like, it's like, like, people like you, you choose want the people you want to associate with, like, like, yeah, I, yeah, think, I, was, like, I think I was actually on the phone with Dana about this. I was telling, I was saying, like, people, like, meeting people is like dumpster diving because a lot of people are trash. And you have to go through and pick out the people that you actually want to spend time with. Where are you dumpster diving? Yeah. <laughs> there was, there was... Uh, 
Sell oh the, no, never sell mind. The parts. There's some good stuff. There's the sensor. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You find good stuff, but you have to sift through a lot of trash to get to oh, it. So and sometimes take your dumpster. Like I think the, dumpster. the GameStop dumpster might be more entertaining than the KFC dumpster. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there well, are different dumpsters, and that. <laughs> what about the? Oh no, I can't. I'm not gonna say that one. Yeah, some people don't <laughs> want it. All right, all right. I mean, this uh, is I, I think I know what you're gonna say what? and say it. Say it. Don't. Is it going to say what about the dumpster behind Planned Parenthood? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. We all saw it coming. I knew it. I didn't see it coming. I didn't, I didn't see it coming. I did not pick up. Well, what about the PETA? What about the PETA shelter? <laughs> Kill shelter. Well, that's, that would be rough. That would be a rough one, isn't it? Oh, that's going to suck. <laughs> okay. Um, we, should yes. go. we should all go. We should all take a go to the PETA shelter. shelter. To the PETA no, shelter. No, not the one before that. Because I, 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 I do I do think like Andrew's Andrew's on the right track though like if you're dumpster diving behind like the GameStop you're more likely to find something interesting than something like from like the supermarket yeah even. and it's I guess probably different... just rotten food Most I guess slightly. different dumpsters would signify different groups or areas because like I, I don't know like I like, like my you school is one bad like enough. high school is one dumpster. Um, oh, well, I need to beat that out. Town. We're gonna get anthrax <laughs> crop dusted. I can't wait! I cannot wait! We're gonna get dusted, uh, dude. My address Sorry, is home. Hey, I am ready! The sweet release of death will soon rip us all. Please target my house specifically. <laughs> mine too, mine too. Please. <laughs> my address Breaking? is okay. <laughs> Not mine. I'll, I'll sit this one out. I will give her No, no, not address. mine because I wanna choose no, who can house. be anthrax. <laughs> I want. I can just go to <laughs> one of your guys' house. my desk. You choose me. Don't I can so. choose Do one of your guys' house. houses and go to that house and understand that I know I will be uh, anthrax. You want to? It is my choice conscious. to be anthrax, I, I will trade and I can choose my, to go to a place my address and where everyone's for anthrax. Cassie's address. In her death. <laughs> oh, let's not do that. No, no, I think she's close to me. That it'll just be like. That's yeah. fair. If you can handle we'll get her too. Over. Okay, mm. time for me to time for me to just live at college With Kevin. now. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Kevin's in college. I don't live in Montana at our <laughs> compound. Oh the yes, militia. the compound. That's where the randoms yeah. really can't get you. Yeah. We because we have it all there. <laughs> <laughs> where do you think it comes from? <laughs> Someone's gonna make it. So okay, so that's what our business that's what our business model is. Anthrax. That's our purpose. We'll make, we'll make, thought, I thought it was gonna be drugs. It's anthrax. We'll make bullets. Of course, honestly, anthrax. I feel like it's gonna be Moses. <laughs> <laughs> we have Moses. That was a, we always had Moses. That was the plan from Thank the beginning. That was the, always, yeah, we I were forgot. Gonna, see, we were going to hunt for animals oh, yeah. with our Moses, yeah, yeah, but because never. Andrew couldn't hunt, he would just shoot one of us. Yeah. That, yeah. Was, the, that was the plan yeah, from I, the beginning. I'm a Dick Chang of the group. <laughs> <laughs> Dick. Dick Chang, man. Oh, well, all right. What a puppet master. Is that, <laughs> That's what we is that all we have to say on safe spaces, or are we... Yeah. yeah for the best yeah. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I feel like it's good to end it. I don't know. My one parting comment is I find it interesting yeah, that we're talking about safe spaces and you censor things I on the podcast. You. But I understand I that that's for safety and like also Stop privacy. Now, because daddy dearest said so. <laughs> and I yell at you constantly for it. <laughs> yeah, but no. Names and places. Yeah. Is, well, that's what that's it. That's it's like that's like a, that's a health risk. Yeah, that's a bit of a health risk. Yeah. No, I understand. I that. That no, one, no one comes knocking the door like, why'd you say my name? Why?